Once again, welcome to HJ Global News. Our entire community is racing towards the fulfillment of the dream of one big human family united under God. This week, we will share a special report on the youth group IAYSP, an organization that prepares future talents to be clean players in the heavily unified world, opening up new possibilities in an era of constant change. Let's enjoy the report. Young people are key players in the realization of a heavily unified Korea and a heavily unified world. IYSP are the hope of tomorrow and are moving ahead with the shared goal of fulfilling God's dream. For the past four years, IAYSP on the foundation created by True Parents have been contributing in more than 60 countries to building one human family united under God, developing volunteer activities and campaigning for youth purity, strengthening families and character education through programs such as Synergy and Peace Designers, which are leading innovations in society today. We have witnessed the massive launch of IAYSP in the Asia-Pacific region with 40,000 young people participating in the Peace Festival in Sao Tome. And 1,200 Japanese youth attending the Peace Declaration in Seoul, as well as the Peace Starts With Me Youth Movement. Witnessing activity was launched at the IOSP General Assembly during the 2020 World Summit in Korea. Various attempts are being made to realize a cultural and artistic revolution of heart, a central driving force that will steer Chanil Guk. In this regard, through the Hyojong Youth Blessing Festival, which True Mother presided over, young people from 120 countries united as one human family under God, and promising to create ideal families made an offering of filial love through the Pure Love Pledge. Having been reborn as pure water through their pledge, they give us hope for the future. In this sense, the Hyojong Youth Blessing Festival and the Concert of Hope highlights of the first and second part of the IAYSP World Convention, plus the implementation of Synergy International 2021, have established themselves as the basis and drivers of youth culture worldwide. We 그한 종단이 아니야. 창조 원칙 목적인 참 부모야. 이러한 대단한 보석과 같은 내용을 받고 있는데 세상하고 타협하지 마라. 원칙을 세워야 돼. 초중고 어? 대학 대학원 이렇게 연령에 맞게끔 
하는 거는 좋아. 표정. 알겠어요? Much energy and attention is also being put in the development of educational content from birth in response to True Mother's teachings on the subject. On the other hand, True Mother launched the Hyojong Family Cafe, a filial cultural center that will be established as the headquarters of youth movement, a model that will spread to Korea's five sub-regions. 어머님께서 미래 세대들을 위해서 영유아부터 청년 대학생까지 다 만들어 주는 거죠. 그러니까 초등학교, 유아, 초등학교, 중학교, 고등학교는 교육을 시키고 대학생들은 이 공간을 통해서 초등학교, 중학교, 고등학교를 교육시키는 것이죠. The Hyojong Family Cafe, built with love by True Mother, is being developed as a Hyojong culture evangelistic space, which is to spread the value of filial love. It will also be a model space for training future public figures, holding activities and encouraging growth. 회전 학당은 참 부모님의 말씀처럼 모태에서부터 교육할 수 있도록 어린 아이부터 청년들까지 연령에 맞게끔 교육받을 수 있는 환경권을 제공합니다. 또한 어린 아이부터 엄마, 아빠, 할머니, 할아버지 3대가 함께 즐길 수 있도록 콘텐츠를 다양하게 준비하고 있습니다. 표정 학당, 표정 패밀리아 카페는 YSP 멤버들과 함께 표정의 가치를 통해 전국의 지부를 두고 성장하는 미래 세대 인재 양성이라는 표정 학당의 주요 목표를 달성할 수 있을 것이라 확신합니다. The IYSP is an excellent vehicle to disseminate the culture of filial love, Hyojong. Those who will lead the future will do so by serving God through an artistic and cultural revolution of heart, connecting the environment to the blessings and growing as models for the community with filial love, Hyojong. In Brazil, where tribal messiahs are increasing activities to register all members in the Chonbo one by the end of 2022, the South American branch of HJ Chonbo Center has organized the Chonbo Great Spiritual Works. Over 300 members from 10 provinces participated in the Chanyang session held online. They were able to inherit the victorious foundation of true parents by liberating and blessing their ancestors and express their determination to become treasures of heaven. Established in 2019 under the guidance of True Mother, the Chinese People's Federation for World Peace is active in 10 regions of the world, including Taiwan, Hong Kong and Japan. In May, to highlight the importance of filial piety, a characteristic element of Chinese culture, it held the International Conference on the Culture of Filial Piety in Yokohama. There was a symposium on the theme of filial piety which recorded the participation of prominent teachers and educators from Korea, Japan, Taiwan, China and Hong Kong. Elementary and middle school students even read letters to their parents. The event was attended by over 1,700 Chinese, Japanese and English speakers, spreading the vision of rebuilding a society based on filial piety with families. In Hong Kong, the 15th Hyojong Award Ceremony of the Chinese People's Federation for World Peace was held under the theme Modern Hyojong Life. At the event, righteous people who have led an exemplary Hyojong life were awarded. Through this, more than 300 public figures and young people from Hong Kong, China, Taiwan, Malaysia, Canada and the United States who watched the ceremony online were able to grasp the value of Hyojong. In Costa Rica, AYSP continues to pursue its volunteer activities for the well-being of local communities with great enthusiasm. Together with a television program called Somos 65, it has raised almost $130,000, which have been redistributed to retirement homes throughout the country. This action of IAYSP, characteristics of living for the sake of others, was featured in a major local media, La Repubblica, thus transmitting the will and vision of true parents within the local community. 
Young students from six Central American and Caribbean countries, including Costa Rica, Mexico, and Panama, participated weekly in the Chombo Coaching Leadership School curriculum of the third phase of Chombo Leader School. They are doing their best to become young leaders who will be like treasures of heaven. Creating Bridges Through Blessing was the topic of a webinar hosted by the Blessing Department of All Regions. This webinar aimed at encouraging international matchmaking. It greatly helped to overcome existing prejudices about marriage blessings between people of different nationalities and culture. 1,500 participants and applicants from nine regions were able to listen to valuable testimonies and talks from international couples. In Korea Subregion 5, a service to express gratitude for the structure of the subregional headquarters at the Busan Church brought together 200 family members while 1,500 members followed online. Last May 23rd, on the occasion of her visit to Busan, Chumada instructed the relocation of the headquarters of Subregion 5 to Busan. As a result of which, a Sunday service was held in appreciation of Mother and May 23rd was declared as Morim Jol Day, the day mother came to Busan. Sub-Regional Director Pak yong -bae spoke about the roadmap for the restoration of the heavenly nation of Gyeongsan, discussed the national agenda of the Korean-Japan Tunnel Project and conveyed encouraging news on activities for the two countries. Director Yoon Yoho was in charge of the sermon in which he spoke of the new era for this operation where new wine should be placed in new wineskins and for heavenly nation of Gyeongsan to be like daffodils which brings hope by sprouting in the midst of frozen ground. The announcement of Morim Jol Day and the explanation of its significance instilled enthusiasm and energy among the members who armed with the spirit of Bob Nicol and of the daffodils are preparing to hold a rally of hope for Korea, Japan and the United States on October 17th. Even amidst difficult external circumstances, we constantly celebrate festivals, turning this crisis into opportunities. This requires great efforts from all of us, but let us be assured that the most important thing is to remain thankful to God. This has been HJ Global News. Thank you for joining us and may God bless you.